Hello guys, this is FlashX007 and today I will be reviewing the amazing, beautiful HD color master grade 1 to 100 scale unicorn. Now, just based on what you guys see right here, of course, uh, a lot of people can agree with me how nice and beautiful this model is. And this is basically the um HD color unicorn mobile suit cage bundle package. Um it retails for 7500 yen. So that's closely like 75 to 80 dollars in US dollars, roughly. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty nice model, and uh, what makes it nice is basically that um, it's gloss injected. When it when uh, the basic uh, difference when it comes to this and the other three master grades is that none of the others are gloss injected. Uh, this has like HD. Um, it just refined the uh, colors and the gloss injection it just makes it all that better however um it doesn't really like it doesn't really sugarcoat it because it also has as many flaws as the other master grades which I'll discuss with you guys but to start off what I'd like to do is uh, go over the details and proportion um I don't really have anything nice to uh compare it with so I'm just going to skip that Okay, so what I want to do uh, first is just cover the detail overall. And I took them apart uh, because uh, the destroy mode adds height and it's hard to fit it in the screen. But anyways, here's the side view of the legs. Just an overall look of it. Um, a lot of detail. It goes in here. It's a pretty remarkable detailed master grade. It's really nice and it's definitely a money's worth. Um, so if you're looking for uh, to get one, in my opinion, all four Master Grades, which I believe there's like four unicorns, all four offer distinctive features. So just like check and cross-reference uh, some information about each one and just uh, choose from that. If you ask me though, I recommend the uh, HD Color Unicorn because basically it comes with the mobile suit cage and also the gloss injected uh, unicorn. Uh, it just really makes the unicorn stand out. It's really nice, and it just like makes him look cooler. I've seen other uh, pictures and designs and uh, videos of the uh, other three models, and to be honest, this one stands out more because it's more shinier and better in my opinion. But again, this is opinion-based, and it is my first unicorn, so I can't really uh, not say I don't like it. Um, it really has a lot of nice features. But anyways, um, piece fell off. Uh, this is the arm, basically, just showing you guys again an overall look of it, in case you're wondering what it looks like up close. There we go. Get the other arm out of the way. Next up, uh, the chest and the torso. Um, again, just showing you guys the detail. Nothing really to discuss here. Really nice, a really nice model. I'm not just saying this. Uh, anybody can almost agree, uh, like, the Unicorn offers a lot of distinctive features. And also, let's just reveal the cockpit. I, I would show you guys this later, but to be honest, it's, it's not really something I'd like to, uh, discuss. Um, all Master Grade models ha offer cockpits, uh, so basically you can open and close it. And here we have little Banager Link's, uh, legs right there. You can't see much of them. But still nice, and I just really thought I'd cover that early on. And that's the overall look of the chest and the torso. Next up is the uh, backpack. Um, again, pretty nice. And the beam saber keeps falling off, so just be careful when you uh, attach these. And there we go. Next up, the head, and we wrap it up. Um, the head actually comes with three V-fins. It comes with one unicorn. Uh, one uh, V-fin like this, and one transformable one. So you really get uh, a lot of distinctive fe offers and features. And that wraps it up for the detail. Okay, so I just want to go over proportion before I move on. Um, to be honest, uh, there's nothing wrong with the proportions. The detail is remarkable. And for the proportions, the only problem that I see is the legs. The legs are somewhat longer than the overall body. And this is what kind of makes it look awkward, to be honest. 
but that's the only thing. Now moving on to articulation, um, I'm only gonna really discuss like the articulated pieces. Um, I'm just gonna cover all the inner frame and the information for the transformations in my uh, transformation part. But anyways, moving on um, for the he uh, for the legs, uh, the feet moves forward and back, and it moves side to side slightly. Um, and this is in destroy mode. When it's in normal mode, to be honest, it doesn't really have that much articulation on the feet. Next up are the thrusters. The thrusters can also uh, reveal and close, so that's counted as articulation. But the next part is um, the legs. The legs can move 90 degrees, and to be honest, I think uh, this is an improvement to the Verka that was, uh, I think Verka was like the second unicorn that was released in Master Grade and it had problems on the legs and basically Bandai fixed that problem with the uh, HD Unicorn so we covered that next up are the uh, is the side skirts and the torso so um, the skirts uh, these can move almost uh, it's 45 degrees I guess um, the side skirts can actually move 90 degrees next up the back skirts can actually move the same angle as the front skirt so almost more than 45 degrees that wraps it up there and I removed the backpack so I can do this um, the torso can actually rotate 360 so that's pretty nice really well articulated next up is basically the arms that we have to go over so adjust the camera and now moving on Okay, so for the arms, uh, the arms can move 360 as you guys can see right there, and the joints right here, uh, this can almost move uh, 180 degrees. It's just missing like maybe like a 30, 30 degrees almost, but it's pretty well articulated, and it's on a separate joint, so you can do this with it, and this can also move 360, and that basically wraps it up for the arms. Moving on to the hand, the hand can move 360, and the fingers are also on a separate ball joint, so that's also another plus. Um, let's just show you guys the hands real quick. Uh, the thumb and the index finger right here are on separate ball joints, while these three fingers are actually all uh, merged together. So basically, you can have him like uh, in, uh, hold the rifle like so. So basically, his hand would look uh it's pretty ideal and it's pretty nice this is my first master grade with articulated fingers like that so it's really nice and i like it and that wraps it up for the hands uh what else is basically um the cockpit um if you guys forgot um i already showed you guys this i believe but anyways uh you can see a little of the um the figure inside but still it doesn't really make that much difference um you get the idea that he's in there anyways that wraps it up for there and for the head um final wrap up there um for the head he can move 360 hold on a minute and forward and back and to be honest the armor can uh prevent some articulation but to be honest if you really put want to put it in a certain pose you can do that but just be careful with it. And that wraps it up for the transform uh, for the articulation. Now moving on to transformation. Okay, so moving on to transformation. Um, here's where I'm probably going to get a little uh, criticism over the unicorn. And uh, basically discuss what I think about it. And what I'd like to begin is w basically with the uh, flaws that it has. Um, what I'd like to point out is that uh, there's four unicorns that you can choose from. The OVA the Verka, the Full Armor, and the HD Color Unicorn Plus Mobile Suit Cage. And to be honest, all of them have these same problems. Uh, most people are having problems uh, transforming its knees, its uh, chest, and it's maybe its backpack or something like that. And to be honest, I've come across that uh, its chest and knees are really pr uh, problematic in transforming. But this shouldn't uh, turn you away from buying it. What I recommend is